Good evening, good evening, my friends. Today, today I wanted to share out of Luke 11. When I was getting ready to speak at this uh, event that we did, I hate that word event, by the way, but it was, it was good. It was, it was an event. There was, there was, uh, you know, a lot going on, but it was called Forgive STL. And I, when I was contemplating, how do I start? How do we set the pace for this this event and and the introduction you know and um when i was contemplating i remembered this the lord's prayer and the lord pointed this out to me and i want to share with you what he pointed out to me and he and jesus said unto them when you pray say our father which is in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done as in heaven so in the earth give us day by day our daily bread and forgive us of our sins as we forgive those who sin against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil and forgive us of our sins as we for we also forgive everyone that is indebted to us and forgive us of our sins. So this is what was this is what was um, highlighted to me. Give us day by day our daily bread, and forgive us of our sins, as we forgive everyone who has sinned against us. And forgive us of our sins, because we have forgiven everyone who sins against us. And the Lord was showing me like our daily bread is this: to be forgiven. Of our sins give us day by day our daily bread allow us every day to walk in your grace and mercy and every day we will eat and enjoy our day and the bread that you've given us and the grace to live even though we are contrary to you even though that everything within us is rebellious and sinful Every day we will live in your forgiveness and we will be thankful. But this forgiveness that God is granting to us is contingent upon how we forgive others. Forgives of us of our sins as for we also have forgiven everyone that has in, been indebted to us. And it's important to understand like it's you know it's easy to enjoy being forgiven by god but it's hard to forgive others the way that the lord has forgiven us but if we don't forgive others god's forgiveness to us is contingent upon how we forgive others because if we don't forgive others then we really don't know what we've been forgiven of we really don't know the lord if we don't forgive others because we really don't know and understand the grace that god has given us in his son jesus christ how that he allowed his son to be murdered and crucified and and crushed so that we could have life and that he forgave us of our sins even while we were sinners and his enemies he gave his son for us and displayed his love. So in the same way, we are obligated to forgive others. Because if we don't forgive others who sin against us, then we obviously don't believe in Jesus and what God has done for us through him. We have to be completely clueless of what God has done for us if we are still holding on to the sins of others so today enjoy your bread being forgiven but make sure you share that bread with others amen